What is going on guys? I am Instant Poison and I hope you are all having just an incredible day. I know I am because tomorrow I leave for my first vacation of the summer. I am heading out to Kelowna, BC. For those of you who don't know, yes, I am Canadian and British Columbia is the most western province that we have in our country. For all you non-Canucks listening. So I am going to head out there, soak up the sun, lie on a beach, swim in lakes, and hopefully get a tan because I... I am in dire need of one. I've been playing way too much Call of Duty, spending way too much time indoors, and I just need some fresh air. It's a well-needed break, and I am so happy to finally be getting out of here. But do not fear, your favorite commentator will not be gone for the entire week. I will still be putting up videos while I am out there. They're already completed. I just have to upload them so you don't have to go the full seven days in case you were getting upset about that. So I thought I would leave off right before I head out, though, with a nice good old-fashioned YouTube gaming Call of Duty commentary where, and I know it's been done a thousand times, it's beaten a dead horse at this point, but I thought I'd give my two cents and my own little spin off of it about the whole Call of Duty and Battlefield scene, where that's heading, and I think what Call of Duty needs to do to keep its uh, first person shooter title, uh, Empire I guess you could say. Let's be honest, it's probably the biggest and most popular first person shooter and Battlefield is about to give it a run for its money. So I thought I'd give my two cents on that, but before I do that, I just really wanted to, I just, blah, 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 I just quickly wanted to address an issue that I've been noticing a lot on my channel and that's the whole sub for sub scene. And for those of you that have subscribed to me, thank you and you probably know I don't do sub for subs. A lot of people have asked and a lot of people have still stayed, which I am very grateful for, but I never sub for sub people. Not because I'm a dick, not because I don't care about helping you guys out or anything like that, but because, in all honesty, I very rarely watch videos. I have 30-something odd subscriptions, and I only have so much time in a day to watch, and I don't really commit it to content that I'm not absolutely in love with. So if you are a sub for sub, or if that's how you get around, I highly recommend maybe finding a different way to do it. It is a lot of work, it's a lot of time, and frankly, people are only looking out for themselves. They're only doing it because they want you to subscribe to them. And both of you are going to lose because nobody's going to get views off of it. So it's kind of just a waste of resources and of time. So that's my two cents on that. If you're a sub for subber, I'm sorry that I do not subscribe to you. It's just who I am. And maybe try something else. Hopefully your channel will be successful using another technique. So moving on from the YouTube talk, let's get to the gameplay. I'm going to talk about Battlefield and Call of Duty and exactly what I think is necessary from uh, Infinity War to keep this series great and to actually get people playing it because I think Battlefield at this moment looks absolutely fantastic. Me personally, I'm I'm getting both games, I'm making videos of both, commentaries of both because they both have pros and cons and they both have the potential to be perfect, but obviously whichever game is better is going to get played more. That's going to be the sad truth. So they're constantly competing with each other. And something I found interesting was I read a comment on a Machinima video the other day talking about the economy and the way gaming companies work and the way they develop games. And it basically said that if a game was perfect, if they fixed every single problem, if there was nothing wrong with it, and if you listened to the community 100%, well then there would be no reason to buy the next game. Most games continue in the series. They have trilogies. They have multiple versions of them and if you developed the absolute perfect game like for instance if Modern Warfare 1 was perfect, if COD 4 was the perfect game when Modern Warfare 2 came out we would have all been pissed, we would have been disappointed, we, it wouldn't have been as good as it could have been by the time Modern Warfare 3 comes out there's literally nothing left that is good Call of Duty 4 would have been so spectacular compared to Modern Warfare 3 that nobody would have played it What's happened now is Modern Warfare 2 had its problems, COD 4 had its problems, and Modern Warfare 3, I'd assume this is the end of the Modern Warfare series, I could be wrong, they might go out and make more money even after this point, but they have the potential to end the series perfect, to fix every single problem, every single aspect of what the community has complained about for the last uh, three years I guess it is now, and make a game that will compete with Battlefield, because at this moment it looks like they're losing, it looks like... Battlefield 3 is going to be the new superior first person shooter. So the things they have to fix, quick scoping has to be uh, addressed, it has to be I think in my opinion a mix between Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops quick scoping. Painkiller has to disappear, noob tubes have to disappear which they're not, so I find that very interesting. They have to be at least significantly reduced. Perks have to be changed up, they have to be created in a way that there's 100% balance and equality throughout all the perk slots. And frankly, I think killstreaks have to be taken away or at least greatly reduced back to the point of Call of Duty 4 
Modern Warfare 2 was just too much. It completely took away the gameplay, the team play aspect of Call of Duty, and it made it almost impossible for anybody to care about anything except for their kill streaks. So that might need to be taken out and that might be addressed because if it isn't, if Call of Duty fails here and Infinity War doesn't do the best job virtually possible, I think Battlefield is going to be the better game and that's going to be the game me and everybody else ends up playing. So I think this is their last shot because God knows Treyarch is just going to screw up their next game. So that's the end of that. So this may be the end of the Call of Duty series. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think.